said that the success of my music was theoretic, but my revenge is sweet enough to murder diabetics. Eugenics, Proctor and Gamble, credit racial science. Couldn't produce a more aggressive intellectual giant Nephilim burium with the bullets left in them. My heart is blacker than the children of Thomas Jefferson, blacker than back in the days of the tar and feathering. A cancerous endocrine, the eagle ass American, the hatchet and the sticks, the fascist emblem. You could call it conspiracy theory. I don't give a motherfuck. You could get your motherfuck. National security is a cold word for cover up. Hold that down. I look at character. Never let the color get to you. I got white revolution. Like How's it going, folks? Permanent Patriot here. Uh, getting into some pretty deep shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have to say anything. <laughs> Folks, let me tell you how easy this is. You go somewhere like this. Um, I'd say this is exactly what you were looking for. You want to know if they had Cyclops that actually live. Go and type in Cyclops images. You'll get shit like this. Now, here's the secret. Go to one of the pictures. And just look around. One will come up. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here we go. There's a couple of good ones. So you just click on one of the pictures. Over here. Tells you where the picture came from. Or you search by image, you'll get a bunch of other images. Okay, so you go to that website. And usually, these websites are mind blowing. I mean you can't you don't just like come across them every day. There's incredible knowledge out there. You gotta go and look for it. Oh there's I mean there's all sorts of these sites. That was just one. Who want strange history? Uh Another thing that helps is, you know, looking at really odd shit you've never seen before. You might want to click on those like this. Uh, that's spoopy. I'll click on it. Freaking news. Should have known. <laughs> so, I don't know. I guess in case you don't know what a Cyclops looks like, they show you. I don't know. That's, that is a little creepy though. So that's how you find these sites. Uh, people are always asking me, like, where do you get the information? It's actually very easy to find. And it might be the one that you're least expecting that leads you to the, the promised land. Red Ice Creations, yeah, pretty good. So, uh, folks, I don't know if you know, but all of the pictures, I would say most of the pictures, 90, 95% of the pictures are real. Like this one, everyone thinks this is fake because of how it looks. Well, that's because it's a demon. Hello. <laughs> so that's what I always tell people, you know, if you want a reference or something like that, just type in anything. Um, the one I always type in, because it's pretty damn good. I just put Enoch images because it's like one of the first places I ever went and saw this kind of stuff. <laughs> it's like, okay, need to go here more often. So just type in Enoch images and, you know, you get some, some of these angelic type pictures and ghostly type pictures and demons and shit. All in angels. Click on this. I'm sure it'll take you somewhere where Jesus is Savior.com. Where, uh, you know, the touch more upon it. You always got to, you got to at least scan through stuff. Because you'd be surprised. Look at, see, I knew I wasn't tripping. I, I kept telling myself, I saw that somewhere. I know I did. And I could not find it for the life of me. Oh, there it is. 450 foot dog. Okay. 
key point I was talking about that the other night, and I freaking totally missed out on it. So there you go, 450, Book of Enoch. Um, I'll see the other one right. Yeah, if people still think that, you know, I'm lying about it. Well, here's the Prime Minister. The fucking head honcho of Russia. Alien invasion confirmed by Russian Prime Minister. Keep telling people that that's why they're hiding the giants and all that ancient stuff. Because they plan on faking an alien invasion like when things are real fucking bad. Which obviously it's getting close. And they're going to take an alien invasion and have all sorts of new technology and we're going to be smarter, we're going to get enlightened, all that good stuff. And then they're going to be like, hey, you know this you folks have no money. You have no money system. Okay, money system? We give you no money system. You have to put chip in your hand. In your head. It's gonna be it. There you here you have it, man. I told you you see it all working together, but they're still going against each other. But they're all after the same goal. They just want that number one fucking New World Order spot. They each want to be president for it. They put prime ministers and presidents in Council of Foreign Relations as Council of on Foreign Relations President, every six months, somebody else. They do that to see who they're going to want to have running shit. And I'll tell you another thing. If you're already in a public office, you cannot hold an office like President of the CFR. Like Dick Cheney has done. And like Barack Obama has done. And a bunch of other fucking people have done. It's, you know, eh, break the law. I mean, if somebody does something truthful and honorable, that would be mind-blowing. All I know is one of the best sayings ever is, truth is stranger than fiction. Question everything. Believe none of what you hear and half of what you see. Yeah, those the folks, the freaking orbs you see all the time. You know, people are like, I've seen orbs. Those are spirits that they don't have a body. Pretty obvious, actually. I've told you folks plenty of times and showed you plenty of proof that we went to Mars a long time ago, and in fact, we've been colonizing space for over 30 years. Conspiracy theorists! Conspiracy! A 13,000 year old satellite orbiting Earth. Nobody knows how it got there. Eh, no big deal. Following fucking astronauts around space. Here's a site. Which I highly recommend. I get a lot of stuff from here. Your peak zone. They got some real good conspiracies and some real good stuff on religion too. Um, oh yeah, Mars. Alright, let's go to the conspiracies. Since I'm such a fucking conspiracy theorist. I mean, I've done sit-down interviews with top secret agents who said this. I've got videos. I've got tape of it and everything. Seem to matter. Yeah, this this ain't nothing. They're all links and shit. Ooh, boom, 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 boom. You want proof? Boom, 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 boom. It's about a fucking hundred of them right there.
Gotta check out these videos. <laughs> Watch. It won't come on. Holy shit. All my life, I've been... A lot of videos on here won't play on these sites. So, there's all that and a bunch of fucking videos. Bunch of proof, bunch of links. Oh, so how many were there in America? One, two, <laughs> yeah, right. That's how many they found in America. How many did you hear about? How many did you hear about? That shit pisses me off so much, man. <sighs> Science of North America. All sorts of newspaper clippings. If you go to the freaking, your local historical library, I'm sure they've got this in there where you can go and look it up. And back, at the, back in these days that we're talking about, um, the average woman was six foot five. The average man is seven foot five. We talk all about it. All this stuff. Double rows of teeth. Those are demons. More maps and shit. Unreal. Ah, uh, look at me not. Alright. I'll show you a couple more things here real quick. Yeah, they're not colonizing Mars, huh? Folks, I've heard, I've, I've heard too many stories and talked to too many people and saw too much shit. And another thing, I tell you they're always like 20, 30 years ahead of us. There's no way in hell they're going to put out this information going to Mars. 100 candidates to colonize Mars. Folks, they've already fucking colonized it. Do you seriously believe that, that they didn't? Just like you seriously believe they just fucking now realize that there's water on Mars. I fucking called that one. I did a video when they came out. When they said, uh, not too long ago, they were like, said something like NASA's coming out on Monday with the, with breaking news. I was like, what? Well, they just sent the rovers there and shit. Go the watch, they're gonna say that they found water on Mars. Bingo! It's unfucking real how fake these guys are. Mars One Mission selects final 100 candidates to colonize Mars. They have been doing this forever, folks. They made the first human embryo clone, I think, in the late 1800s. If not, the very early 1900s. So who the fuck knows how long they've been cloning people? Who knows what's going on? All I know is I've always heard, always heard uh, stories about space wars. And it wasn't through Star Trek and all that shit. Because I never, I never even watched Star Trek or Star Wars until I got older. Nope. I was all sports, all the time, all sports and all music, all the time. So, well. Um, I don't think this is the one though. Now, the one that I usually go to is at the Atlantic.com. It's right at the top of the page. Folks, <clears throat> I'm telling you right now, they're going to have to disclose this soon. So all you people denying flat earth, all you people in denial about everything the truthers are talking about, you're going to be, be looking real fucking stupid soon. Because there's no way that they can have citizens colonizing other planets and shit. And coming out with all sorts of crazy new technology without the people finding out 
what the earth really looks like and what's really fucking out there. It just ain't gonna happen. Nope, nope, nope. More videos coming up. God bless, carry on.